Does testosterone cause hair growth or hair loss? Small testicles, prostate cancer, aggression, weight gain, acne? Does it cause a high sex drive? This episode of Sexplanations answering these testosterone questions and more is brought to you by Let's Get Checked. Let's Get Checked is a health testing service that provides convenient, confidential, and accurate at-home health testing with online results. Go to their website, try lgc.com slash explanations, pick the test or test you want, and use the code GETCHECKED for a 20% off coupon. For example, their testosterone test, or male hormone advanced kit, measures testosterone, sex hormone binding globulin, free androgen index, prolactin, and estrogen, all measurements that help you understand your health. It is super easy. Activate a test online, have it sent to your home, collect a sample, then send it off to their labs with a prepaid shipping label. After Let's Get Checked receives the package, they'll email you with confidential results within two to five days and provide medical consultation over the phone. <clears throat> In 1849, German scientist Arnold Berthold castrated six roosters. He took out their testicles and he observed, one, that they stopped fighting each other, and two, that they quit mounting the hens. Interesting, right? It gets better. Next, Berthold mixed matched cocks and balls. He put these balls with these cocks. He found that the cocks with another bird's balls went right back to fighting and mounting. So Berthold deduced that there must be something in the testicles that influenced this behavior. He looked into the bloodstream. Sure enough, Berthold was right. Testosterone is a hormone or chemical messenger produced in the testicles, ovaries, adrenal glands, and laboratories that travels around the body through the bloodstream. As Dr. Andre Harris puts it, messengers with a key going around unlocking a cell's potential. Pube cells? Unlock. Adam's apple cells? Unlock. Libido cells? Is that a thing? Cells that produce more testosterone? Unlock. Like the roosters, testosterone may influence our sexualities more than any other anything. Take for example, week seven in utero. Testicles and ovaries start to develop, which are then able to produce their own testosterone and direct sex differentiation. Around week nine, this testosterone leads to erectile tissue, clitorises and penises, and the growth of a prostate. The body and the brain establish sex and gender sexual orientation. Bah! And then during puberty, there's usually another surge that gets us all to take off our clothes and rub our bodies together. In addition to all of the changes. Testosterone produced by people with testicles affects muscle growth, bone mass, body hair, sideburns, beard, mustaches, everything from the navel to the thighs, buttocks fur. Testosterone deepens the voice, it broadens the shoulders, it expands the rib cage, it enlarges the sebaceous glands which can lead to acne, it produces sperm. It increases the size of penises, gives the scrotum that wrinkly look, and increases sex drive and risk taking. So be careful. There is much less testosterone produced by the ovaries, seven to eight times less, but people with ovaries are more sensitive to it. Medical providers are going to be so helpful here. This goes for people who want to increase and monitor their testosterone with creams, gels, patches, injections, tablets, and or ingestibles. Many people who take synthetic testosterone describe a second puberty, often including increased hunger and sex drive, changes in mood and emotional responses, more and thicker body hair. Look at that scruffy face. Just like natural tea, there can be an increase in muscle mass, acne, lengthening of the vocal cord that deepens the voice. Sing for us! Got me feeling so high, I can't come down from this. Fat can be redistributed from the butt, hips, and thighs to the torso. Wow! And erectile tissue, like my clit, can enlarge to if a person has a menstrual cycle and takes tea, that may go away. And ooh, synthetic testosterone is correlated with changes in sexual orientation or sexual behaviors and preferences. It's unclear if these changes are biological or a result of increased confidence or self-awareness. Most likely it's a combination of all influenced by testosterone. What increases testosterone? Studies I've listed in the description correlate a boost in testosterone with exercise, specifically resistance training and high intensity interval training. Sun exposure, vitamin D, watching sexually explicit films, smelling ovulation. Yes, the odor of fertility elevates testosterone levels. So does, quote, seeing a novel female, meaning a new girl or woman. This doesn't apply to everyone, of course. None of this is a rule, but it's fascinating. Other influencing variables, zinc, time of day, testosterone typically peaks in the morning, sleep has a big impact, and competition, and sex. Sex, masturbation, kissing. Research has shown that people with lots of testosterone prefer tongue contact over closed-lipped pecs, 
because saliva transfers testosterone to the other partner, instigating sexual arousal and the opportunity for them to have sex. So pro tip, make out open mouth style to transfer testosterone and saliva from one partner to another so that your sexual interests are more similar. What decreases testosterone? Dieting, overeating, drugs, alcohol, stress. As cortisol, the primary stress hormone, rises in the bloodstream, testosterone goes down. One of you asked if vasectomies decrease testosterone. This is a great question. Most diagrams show one cord coming out of each testicle up into the rest of the body the vas deferens. So it makes sense to think that if this cord is cut or blocked to stop sperm from traveling, that it would also stop testosterone. Here's a better diagram. There are many blood vessels and arteries running in and out of the scrotum that transport testosterone from the testicles all over. So vasectomies do not have an effect on testosterone. Falling in love, on the other hand, does. The beginning honeymoon tends to decrease testosterone in men while increasing testosterone in women. Scientists think because of changes to their temperament and or behaviors, but it could be the other way around. For example, fatherhood. Testosterone declines when a man becomes a parent, especially the younger the child and the more time that dad spends caregiving. Ah, evolution. Adjusting testosterone levels to care for offspring, lessening aggression for cooperative, safe childbearing? I can just squeeze you, nature! What else happens if testosterone is low? For those with testicles, an amount below 300 nanograms per deciliter is low. Less than 25 nanograms per deciliter if you've got ovaries. Please do a consultation with a professional about your level and your normal, though. Low testosterone, also called hypogonadism, can lead to weight gain, trouble with attention, memory, and spatial abilities, high blood pressure, abnormal cholesterol, cardiovascular disease, and from that, premature death. It's also correlated with osteoporosis, fragile bones, fatigue, irritability, depression, a harder time building and maintaining muscle, hair loss, lower sperm count, hot flashes, trouble producing new blood cells, lower no sex drive, softened shrunken testicles, and erectile difficulties. That being said, sometimes medication is prescribed to reduce testosterone, like luprolide for people with prostate cancer and spironolactone for trans women. Conclusion. All bodies are unique. Testosterone may boost your energy and mood. It may drive you to punch things. It's powerful, and we don't know everything about it yet. There's so much to learn. Stay curious. Learn about your own hormone levels and other health data through our sponsor, Let's Get Checked, their website, trylgc.com slash explanations, support sex ed at the same time. When you use the code Get Checked on your purchase, they'll give you 20% off. Let's Get Checked is a great option for getting tested at home. They offer a variety of kits, including thyroid, fertility, STDs, and even colon cancer. Getting tested is an important step in taking control of your health, and it allows you to have more productive, knowledgeable conversations with your doctor. Let's Get Checked. Let's try those words again. <laughs> hypogonadism, hy hypogonadism. Uh.